Hi, my name's Ray with Groove Entertainment Technologies and today we're going to repair some missing audio from a head end or a ZV system. Now, the first thing we need to do here is identify what channel or channels are missing audio from your TV. Now, be sure to make note of these channels you're experiencing these issues with as we go to our head end location. Now, if you do not know where your head end is located, it's typically located in a closet that cannot be accessed by the public. Uh, you will be looking for a rack system looking similar to this, in most cases much bigger, uh, maybe multiple racks as well. If you have a monitor in the same room, I recommend turning the TV monitor on and tuning to the channel that is having an issue. To help identify what channel is missing volume, you can look at the display on the ZV bridges to identify the channel with no audio and follow it back to the receiver. Here we have a red flat line showing us no sound and no video. So to navigate up and down, we have these arrow keys that we can push here. Scroll through our channels and see what we're displaying. Now we have an example of a green fluctuation showing great signal, a red flat line showing no video, no audio, and down here we have a yellow fluctuation, and that's just showing us that we have no audio. Now, the receiver should be labeled with what channel it is broadcasting, and I'll typically pull the receiver slightly forward a bit just to differentiate it from the rest of the system so I don't get too confused. This is what we'll be working with today. And if a receiver is not labeled, we can use the TV monitor in the room to try and identify what receiver is having the issue. Now we can try the first receiver in the rack and push the menu button on that receiver and see if anything changes on the screen. Nope. And so on and so forth. If your receivers aren't labeled, push that menu button until your screen changes. Now if the screen does change, we want to push our guide button and start scrolling through our channels and see if we have any channel that does broadcast sound. And if the screen does not change, we can push the menu button again and the receiver will revert back to a original setting. Now. Missing sound can usually be resolved simply just by resetting the receiver that's having the broadcasting issues. Uh, there's a couple different ways for us to do this. If you can reach the reset button on the receiver, you can push that button for about one 